Welcome back, everybody. Thought I'd show you my progress on the piano. I have the dampers in along with the new damper felt. And I have restrung the piano. And it looks pretty. Of course, I have the lid off, so it's easier to work with. And the strings are nowhere close to the right tension. I'll show you in a momento. Um, here is A4. Isn't that fun? Three different pitches, but that's okay. When I was stringing it, I didn't want to get it right at pitch. I just want to get it to where the strings will uh, not sag. So here's my chromatic scale. I think I'm done for the day. What do you think? Silly, of course. Here's my tuning fork. This is the pitch that should be A4. So one of the strings is a little high, but the rest of them are lower. And the whole piano is actually below tension. The tension on a grand piano, depending on its design, can be anywhere from 35 to 40,000 pounds of tension taken by the cast iron plate. Um, that's why it's so heavy. That's what is the stability in the piano that allows it to hold a tune for a reasonable amount of time. So what I'm going to do now is do a chip tuning and basically go through the piano very fast and just get everything close. So I'm going to start with my A here. Back to my fork. So what I have going on here is that's roughly A. So I'm going to take that string and I'm going to real quickly go through all of them. I'll see if I can do this. Uh, I can't do it one-handed, ha, huh? so. Now those three are roughly in there. And I'll go through the whole piano and get it roughly in tune. And by the time I do that, it will have sunk back again. And then I'll go do it yeah, three or four times today. And by the time I finish today, it should be halfway stable. Then I'll come back in a week and tune it. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. Bye.